Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we are going to make a very simple light box out of a few simple and very inexpensive uh, pieces. I have a cardboard box, a couple of very inexpensive desk lamps, desk lamps, some packing tape, a pencil, a box cutter or a knife to cut the cardboard. I have some um, interfacing that you can get at a fabric store or um, the, the, the big box Wally store or whatever and a piece of very clean and crisp white poster board. This thing is going to go together pretty simple. Uh, I looked at YouTube, saw a few different videos and figured I'd put one together for myself for simple product shots for all the pins and bowls and things like that that I turn. So let's throw this thing together and see how it works out. Okay, this is a really simple process. What I'm basically doing is I'm laying the interface on the box and just deciding where I want to cut some windows. Um, I'm measuring in a couple of inches on each side and uh, just to give myself a little bit of an edge for the interfacing to attach to. Nothing more. I'm just going to take a straight edge and I'm going to mark down from each one of my lines that I made to give myself a cutout point. So I'm basically just cutting a square out of the box on three sides. I take a simple utility knife, box cutter, whatever you have, and uh, cut myself some windows out of it. And this is where the interfacing is going to allow the light to shine through. Just take care to cut and leave yourself enough room to attach. Attach the interfacing like I am here with simple packing tape or something like that and it's pretty simple. I might want to use some duct tape next time, something a little bit stronger, um, but this seemed to work and, and is holding up pretty decently. Nice shiny piece of poster board and we're good to go. Okay, now that I've gotten everything put together, I decided to cut a, a hole in the top for a top light, holes in the side lights. It's a really simple, simple box to put together. I've tried two different lights. I picked up a desk lamp uh, with a 100 watt bulb and then also these uh, reflective lamps. I'm not really sure what you call them, but uh, it seems the reflective lamps work really, really well. I have the lights turned off and turned away right now because when I, when I face everything to the, to the camera, it, it just blows it out. Um, but I'm going to turn them on in a minute so you guys can see. It really, it really works well. I'll throw a few pictures in uh, the video to, to let you see how it looks. It just floods the little object with light. One thing I noticed too is, uh, and that I saw, there was one main video that I saw about this box, and I'll put a link to her video in the description. I basically followed followed her plans to the T. And the only thing I did was added a light at the top, which I really think I needed in my application. But she talks about uh, moving the, 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 the lid, the flaps to the back so where the lights don't get seen from the camera and things like that. But works really, really well. Super cheap. $2 box, $3 worth of material, and some packing tape, and a dollar piece of poster board, and it is really crisp and clear pictures. So I'm going to turn some lights on. It's going to blast out the picture, but at least you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about being able to put the stuff in here. Um, so the desk lamp goes in, and then I'm just going to kind of turn this little light on here, and let me walk in front of the camera and turn the third light on. And it really just brings the object inside to light. So I hope this helps someone out. Uh, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll leave some links to all the stuff in descriptions on my blog on how you build this thing. Thanks a lot.